The topic of this video is solving systems of linear equations using substitution or elimination. Let's look at a problem. All right, so the problem we're looking at says 3x plus y equals 1 for our top equation and 6x plus 2y equals negative 3 for our bottom equation. The first decision we have to make is what method shall we use, substitution or elimination? So let's go through the steps to make that decision. First, clear all equations of fractions. Well, we're in luck. No fractions in either equation. Second, look at the coefficients of all of the x and y terms. Try to find one with a coefficient of 1 or negative 1, which we see here. So because of that, we're going to use substitution. We're going to solve equation 1 for y. Okay. To do that, we're going to move this term to the other side, and remember that when a term changes sides, it changes signs. So we get y is equal to 1 subtract 3x. These are all different versions of equation 1. We've simply made them look different. Now that we've solved for one of our variables in one of our equations, we substitute into the other. So we'll write 6x plus 2y equals negative 3 and then we will substitute into that equation for the y variable. This gives us 6x plus 2 times the difference 1 minus 3x equals negative 3. I'll repeat the bottom line. Now we no longer have y, we can solve for x. Let's distribute. So we get 6x plus 2 minus 6x equals negative 3. We'll move this plus 2 to the other side. So then we have 6x minus 6x equals negative 3 subtract 2. 6x minus 6x is 0. And negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. Notice that all of our variables have been eliminated from our problem. They have all canceled out. And the statement we are left with is a false statement. In math, we call that a contradiction. Based on this result, we conclude that there is no solution to this problem. If we were to graph both of these lines, we would find that they are parallel lines that do not intersect. One of the great things about the final solution being no solution is it shortens your problem. There's no values for us to check.